Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Heisman and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm really excited to bring y'all part two of my Abercrombie and Fitch haul. So let's get started. my first Abercrombie & Fitch haul, you are missing gorgeous pieces like this really cute lemon top. So I'll go ahead and link that down below. Make sure to check it out before you check out this one. And let's get started. I have some really cute pieces that didn't come in time for the first video, so I'm really excited to show them to you today. And yes, there is more swimwear. <laughs> so first up, we have this gorgeous dress in this adorable flower print. I love the muted pastels with the pink and the green and a little bit of blue. I think the cut of this is really, really flattering. I <laughs> don't know if it's too booby for me, but I do love this tie detail. I just think it's so darling. I think the shape is just really flattering for body types. I'll show you what the back looks like. So it just has this square back neckline and it's kind of got a bit of a fit and a flare. I do wish the neckline wasn't so low because I would like to wear this to work or maybe a family function and I feel like because of how booby it is I just wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this to a lot of places so I do think it's a very cute dress and if you have a great place to wear it I oh I'm gonna be so sad to not keep this piece but for my closet I just don't think it makes sense to have something that I know I'm not gonna be able to wear as much as I want to like I'm looking for everyday pieces I don't have an occasion to wear this beautiful dress to which is a shame but it is gorgeous. Next up are these absolutely adorable linen pieces. These linen shorts are exactly what I've been searching for for summer. They are so flattering, but they actually give you good coverage. My thighs always rub together in shorts and it like burns. So having shorts that actually cover down to like my fingertips are awesome. And I love that you could wear these to school somewhere where like your school has a fingertip rule and you're not wearing like Bermuda shorts so I think they're really cute I love the back and the side I think they're so flattering which I don't normally find long shorts to be particularly flattering on me but y'all if I were to only get one thing from this entire haul I think it would be these shorts I'm so excited I'll definitely be keeping these and you'll definitely be seeing these in a bunch of videos this white linen top is so cute. I love the neckline. I love kind of this like slight poofy sleeve, but it's not so puffy that it's not so dramatic that you're going to be nervous wearing it. Like sometimes I get so nervous to wear these like dramatic loud pieces because I, I don't know, I'm just still working my way up to being <laughs> as confident as I could be in my fashion. So this is a great piece. I would have to wear like a strapless bra with this, I think. I think the back would, yeah, you could definitely wear a strapless bra with this. I tried it on with a regular bra and the straps definitely showed because of the way this is cut, but I just think it's so flattering. I wasn't sure I loved the white and like the tan linen together. I wouldn't say it's my favorite combo, but it actually looks a lot cuter than I thought when I first put it on. So I would actually wear this outfit out. I'd put on maybe some cute, low heels and just go to like a summer brunch or um, hanging out with some friends in my backyard. I think this would be so perfect and so cute. The top I have tucked into these shorts, but it actually comes somewhat down longer. So it's not like this crazy crop top, which I love because a lot of the pieces that I get only work with my like crazy high waisted pants. And sometimes I just want to wear a regular skirt. I don't want to wear the high waisted up to here because these, these could come up high. I could hike these up and make these crazy tall, but luckily they look a lot cuter <laughs> just sitting at my waist where my smallest point is. And I just think these are so, so flattering. And this top is so cute. I'm very happy. The rest of my pieces are bathing suits. So for my last clothing pieces from Abercrombie and Fish for the season, I'm really, really impressed. I think Abercrombie & Fitch has been my favorite place I've shopped for spring so far. I know I haven't shown all the hauls, but y'all, the quality of these pieces for the price and they're just such cute clothes, really can't be beat. Okay, so this piece was cheating a little bit because it is the same cut and style as the Peaches Bikini in my last haul. However, I really wanted to try it in this cute yellow fabric and I'm not as in love with it as I was the other color. I feel like with my skin tone, I'm a really, really pale girl. And this yellow just isn't doing it for me. I, 
I love the cut, but it, I think I need to be a lot tanner and I just don't like to tan. So I love the cut of this bikini. If you can find it in stock, this ruffle top is seriously one of the cutest bikini tops I own. I have the size extra large and I'm a 36 double D. And then the bottoms, I have the size large and I am like a mid-size girl. I'm like a size 12. So the fit is really nice, but I just think the color just doesn't flatter me in the way that I want a bathing suit to flatter me. So for that reason, I think it's gonna go back. <laughs> okay, so this piece is absolutely a no for me. <laughs> it just doesn't fit me right. I feel like it's so tight up here. Like I kind of want a little bit more coverage on my hips. And then they have these kind of like built-in boning cups, like built-in ribbed cups. But my, it's like they're too low for my boobs. So like, I don't know if I'm just too tall for this swimsuit. It's definitely really cute. I love the back, but I just think overall it's not a flattering fit for me. I'm really uncomfortable wearing it. I do love the pattern. This isn't a one piece that I would almost ever grab for. I feel like I have much cuter ones from like Lily Pulitzer. And I think I would just get a bikini at this point. I don't think this is flattering and I don't think it has the wins that I don't think it's like conservative in the way that I want a one piece bathing suit to be. I love one pieces for hanging out with my family, jumping around, having like lots of movement. And I feel like if I'm not careful and I'm not standing in just the right spot, I'm going to spill out of this. So maybe if your proportions are different than mine, I am 5'9 and I am a size 36 double D. Maybe you would fit into this bathing suit a lot better. The quality is awesome. It's like really silky soft. And it does have like the, the built-in bra is nice. It's just not sitting in the right spot for me. Well y'all, that was it for my part two of my spring Abercrombie and Fitch haul. As always, everything will be linked in the description box down below. Or if you wanna get any more information on the sizing or pieces that I picked out, feel free to check those out down below. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.